Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rafat and you are watching Pick Up Gems. And today's gem is my beautiful cowl neck dress I recently made. And hope you're gonna love it. I made few cowl neck design in the past and they have millions of views. So they um, uh, they ha they was uh, there, there was different style and this one I had a more control on the uh, folds I can make around the neckline and um, I was trying to create this design from yesterday and I am finally sharing with you so I I believe you're gonna love it so let's dive into our video before we go please make sure you subscribe uh, press bell icon so you can get notified and I would love to hear your comments and share with your loved one so they can see as well how if they want to make something different type of outfits so let's dive into our video i am using two and a half meters of jersey fabric it has a good weight and really good drape so it has a four way stretch so better choose a fabric that has a good drape and good stretch you need to have a basic blouse pattern and you need to have your measurement. After taking my measurement like a total length, our waist measurement and your bust measurement, I simply fold this fabric place on the floor because it's just one piece dress I am cutting, long shirt type dress I am cutting and I'm using my blouse pattern to give a shape because in this way I will know my measurement easily so uh, simply i am i marked this um, measurement so you mark according to your choice and then give a shape don't give too tight uh, fitting uh, shape just keep uh, like about half an inch about 0 0.5 uh, 0 0.5 centimeter of seam allowance and this fabric as i mentioned is a very stretchy fabric so you don't need really big seam allowance so we're keeping seam allowance only so you can add a belt so if in this case of belt it will give a good shape around your waist now simply i'm following my pattern um, neckline and shoulder um, cutting so this is our two pieces ready and the front piece i will be making a little bit deeper not too much about just 0.5 as you know that this fabric is very stretchy so first of all i am going to make my back side of the dress ready for the back side just i'm going to cut back a neckline piece and i'm simply cutting according to the measurement of the neckline I cut about two inches wide I am cutting I am not adding stick on fabric because this is a stretchy fabric and the stick on fabric is not stretchy so I'm simply placing this uh, neckline which I prepared on my uh, dress back side of the dress and I'm going to stitch and I'm going to I have done overlocking at the base at the bottom I did overlocking and now I will be folding it simply at the back side so I will finish it later on at the moment we need it like this open so for the front now this is the front part of the dress has little work so uh, I am making this uh, cowl neck in a little different style just like before uh, as I mentioned before in my previous videos so you can cut deep um deep round shape deep mean like about eight inches i cut eight inches deep so it will have a shoulder support but we don't need to be shown in the dress so i overlock this one and after overlocking i simply just fold one uh, fold inside and stitch now this is i have done sewing and this is how it look like is a deep round neckline so we are going to cut our cowl neck i use 20 by 30 inches wide fabric and uh, then i am using my pattern and i'm going to design the uh, cowl on this pattern 
then we will shift on the fabric because if you will be shifting directly uh, making on the fabric the fabric is very slippery it will be keep slipping and it will be difficult to stitch so i am going to use this pattern so this uh, side just make them diagonal so we know this is this area we are going to fold inside both side about two inches two inches wide fabric i cut diagonally so this is we are going to fold inside this fabric i'm using it has no right or um, the right side and back side they both are same so it is easy now we're using a pattern and fold from the top and uh, you, according to the depth of the neck you want you start from here so it's totally up to you how deep neck you want so using the um, our pattern we will be start attaching it with the pins i'm using pin on the paper first and then the next fold just uh, uh, fold according to your choice it is no right and no wrong just design as you like and keep pulling the fabric little bit down it shouldn't be straight it should be little diagonal you can see on the shoulder so there there should be a drape just pull a little down and extra fabric we will be cutting anyway so is our second fold now this is a third fold third fold is coming on the shoulder side uh, on the um, armhole side is not on a shoulder so two sleeves on uh, two fold on the shoulder and then on the armhole side is a third fold and this totally up to you how many folds you want to make you want to make these drapes little deeper this is still you can use bigger fabric and now from the base i am folding two inches so when uh, this uh, drape is gonna hang it shouldn't be shown so now this is a fold part and now i'm making a uh, making another drape the fourth one and that is on the armhole side as well so you can choose where you want your drape to be just pull the fabric down so the inner folding it shouldn't be seen now i'm fixing it with a pin first and uh, when you will try this dress on you can still remove uh, these folds and move it upward as you like but don't fix it don't take it under the sewing machine be, uh, before you are trying it before you are totally happy with the folds and drapes now just like i'm pulling it down so when i this uh, fold will be hanging our uh, overlocking shouldn't be seen is it uh, should be fold uh, properly inside now i have done this part only sewing we have to do on the armhole and shoulder there is no sewing anywhere else now this is how it looks like from the back pattern we are using to give a proper shape of this fold and this looks beautiful just uh, uh, adjust these folds according to your choice according to um your um, neck depth you want so these are this is my choice i make uh, about it is coming up to seven inches deep so now i am going to use my needle and thread if you are uh, you want to use the pins that's fine but i find that uh, at this stage needle and thread is gonna help you a lot so i'm just giving uh, all this fold i'm going to give a shape of the armhole so when i will cut i know where i am stitching so this uh, i am not stitching with a paper at the moment i'm just stitching fabric all the folds will be in place and i will be doing the same on the other shoulder as well i did not stitch with a paper i just stitch fabric only pins are uh, on the paper So in this way your uh, uh, fabric will be ready to place on your dress on your original top
you can try my another uh, cowl neck design which i did previously it have millions of view that is beautiful as well but i have a go much fabric left because i did some mistakes so that is my basically new creation and this it seems brilliant as well i think and now you cut the extra fabric all the extra fabric just cut and from the shoulder leave a little bit extra this is uh, so when um, in the stitching is good to have some extra fabric it's fine you can cut later on and now i am going to remove the pins and this is how it looks like isn't it lovely yes they look beautiful now we are going to place it on our front part of our dress this is a front part of our dress and i'm removing pins and i will move this cowl on my dress place it here and fix it on our dress because the dress you can see underneath has a shoulder length smaller because we make bigger neckline and you, so that's why just start as i am starting so it will have a proper shoulder length so just uh, fix it as i am fixing whatever i'm doing if you do exactly like this you're going to create a beautiful result as well and now i'm going to use my needle and thread and i'm going to fix it with my dress again otherwise if you are using pins i am not sure how it's going to work because i sometimes do not like pins around my uh, needle so i'm using this thread and uh, a needle so i will be fixing it before and i will simply take it under the sewing machine if you want to use pins that is absolutely uh, up to you you can do so and on the second side the second part of the neckline i'm doing as well this fab and this fabric is not like really thick so it will be fine because this um, is just a drapey fabric jersey fabric it is beautiful so i can use it with these drapes don't use chiffon fabric and if the chiffon fabric is heavy and has a little drapes yes then you can use it so now i have fixed it with my needle and uh, thread this is now done this is fixed and now i'm going to attach it with the back part so this is how it looks like pretty i love it i think you will enjoy wearing it and i would love to hear your uh, uh, like a uh, stories if you are creating this design i would love to hear that you created and how it comes up for you and this is the back part this is how i'm fixing just keep watching how i'm fixing so this uh, neck lining which we didn't finish i am just overlapping around the front part so in this way it will be very neat neck line this is how i fix it now i'm going to take it under the sewing machine and this is attached so now you can see extra thread or uh, is close and now i'm opening it you can see it's very neat neck line this is the back and uh, back you can fix later on i am going to use hand uh, hemming because this fabric i do not want like too much sewing to be seen so i want like a seamless dress and it looks so beautiful with a very minor very less seams so i will be using hand hemming so this is a back side and the sides i just stitch so i can wear it and try it on i did a loose stitch so just i can try it on how they look like because this is design i just created out of my head so i wanted to see how it looks like and where adjustment need to be made so you can try it on so if it's a loose um, stretch you can pull it out and correct it and this looks beautiful i'm going to try it on and see how where we need adjustment 
and uh, this is a very raw design at the moment and this is how it looks like i just pull it on this is a you know the deep neckline we made and these are our folds how they look like the armhole are pretty loose um, at the moment even though i keep um, this armhole very small so better i'm gonna make a little bit one one inches smaller and this dress is still loose so i'm gonna add a belt so in this way you can try it on and i'm adding these side slits so this is totally up to you how long you want to stitch and, um, and now i have adjusted these folds according to my choice and i'm happy with it and i have corrected my um, armholes as well and they are pretty good so now at this stage you can attach sleeves any type of sleeves if you want a plain sleeves or uh, just like elasticated sleeves i added it's totally up to you so i added these sleeves and i'm now adding this uh, detail of this video and this is how my dress looks like i added a belt and these are the beautiful cowl and uh, if you want me to make a separate video for these elasticated sleeves i made and you can uh, add in a comment section below i will make a separate video for that and thank you so much for watching i would love to hear if you try this at home and how it um, uh, my video help for you thank you so much and thank you so much for sharing liking and subscribing my channel and see you all in my another video bye